Hey, 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 welcome to another Valley Forged. Yes, I have indeed tried 54 acrylics with a diode laser. Uh, I got all of these from Craft Closet. Uh, so thank you for sending these over, but I am going to give a brutal review of these and trust me, just because I've been buying everything that I use from Craft Closet for a very long time, way before I started working with them. Um, they've always been really cool when I tell them, hey, this doesn't work. And a lot of these diode lasers, um, acrylics, you know, you might have trouble with, but there's a lot of them <laughs> that work more often than not. The ones in the diode laser list here work great. And I did make a list and I will have a link below for everything that I talk about today, but specifically the spreadsheet that I made for the acrylics. Some were fantastic and some were all the way down to don't bother. I'm going to go over all the methodology and I get tips and secrets and all this kind of stuff in the video, but just right away. I mean, if you have a diode laser, you're trying to do really light acrylic like this. Now, there are exceptions that I'm going to show you, but this is the kind of thing that just doesn't work very well. This is the dandelion pastel. Uh, it's, it's right down here. That didn't work for me, as you can see on the spreadsheet. But some of the other ones, say like a cinnamon or even a gold dust, you know, that I would think, hey, that won't work too well. Worked fantastic. So there are some rhymes or reasons to this, I guess, but testing, testing, testing. So I saved a little money for you, I think. Now, speaking about the laser that I used, I used the Atom Stack Craft 20 watt. So you have to gauge, you know, your laser based on that. This is a fantastic 20 watt laser, link below of course, but it's 20 watts. So if you have a 10 watt machine, you might struggle with a lot of diode laser acrylics. The ones that say fantastic, I think will probably be your best bet. If you have a 10 watt or below, this is again, Everything here is my opinion, my testing. If you have a 30 or 40 watt laser uh, or even the Atom Stack 70, it's going to be different for you. The ones that say okay will probably work very well. You will probably have to take one less pass or whatever than I did. And uh, this is the methods that I used here. It's uh, all the way from 300 millimeters per minute all the way to 300 millimeters per minute three times. Now, if on the list it says okay, it's very likely the 300 millimeters times two or somewhere in that level worked well. There were very few that I could cut in one pass at 300 millimeters per minute. Uh, and that's mostly going to be your black, blackity blacks. Uh, but the Cosmic Spark, which is black, you could see. Even though it cut really well, and I would highly suggest you could use this for projects, uh, the 300 millimeters per minute and the 400 millimeters times two, it did not cut out. So it, there are some variations when it comes to black, but when you buy your laser or you see laser reviews or anything like that, almost all the time, if it's a diode laser, they're going to test it on black because cl black cuts the best with a diode laser and they're trying to show off their machine. But the lighter colors, uh, especially transparents, forget about it. Don't even bother. I did try it again. I cut out uh, some lime green transparent just to see. You always want to check again with the paper on. Still didn't cut through, but at least it didn't melt it. It didn't look terrible, terrible, but... In general, just stay away from transparents and whites and lighter colors. Some alternatives. So you go down my list and you're like, hey, I love this. But if you really want an alternative to the acrylic, you could see that the, the selection is huge. I did 50, I ended up doing 53. I tested 54. There's 53 on the list. One of them, I talked to Craft Closet, wasn't supposed to be on the list. So I took it off. Um, but 
So 54, I tried. There's so many different ones. And that's really nice to be able to have that kind of selection. But I just wanted you to know that there is an alternative if you want patterns and things like this. Also at Craft Closet, uh, discount link below, of course. You can go over to the color board expressions. Now the color board expressions uh, right here, you're going to have so many different patterns and maybe you can find something that matches what you wanted to do with the acrylic in the expressions. And these cut just like MDF. So if you're making something that's MDF and you want to add some color, you want to add some patterns, this is a fantastic way to go. It's absolutely changed the game for me when it comes to laser projects. And I have made so much money last year when I started using the color board expressions uh, as, you know, to add color patterns and different things for my uh, projects. But today we are talking, and of course, with Craft Closet, they have, they have all of the wood. All This is where I get all my wood, finished wood, unfinished wood. Um, and like I said, acrylic and color board solids. But today we are talking about the acrylics. And some of my favorites, of course, Fox Glove. Uh, done it on many, many projects. You've probably seen it on my bottle openers. I've sold every one I've ever done that way. Uh, you know, a surprising one was Aurum, which is a metallic and it is light. You know, this is a goldish color, but it uh, cuts super, super, super well. And there are some of these met metallics you're going to find that did do super well. And these glitters like gold dust wouldn't have expected this to cut out well. It cut out well. Um... One of the ones I really, really liked is this uh, Lindworm scales. So they have lots of different kinds of scales, and those can look really, really nice, and they could add so much to a project, right? It just can really take something that's kind of bland and make it really, really special. So it is nice that you have that opportunity to use uh, acrylics on the diode laser, Again, CO2 is going to, just to do it better. It's going to do it faster. It's going to look nicer in a lot of cases. So in most cases, um, but these are cutting out pretty cl clean for a 20 watt, I got to say. So feel free to check out everything, all my links below um, and the spreadsheet that I did. And, you know, you can go through and look for the ones you want and just kind of see what my results ended up being. And uh, I've got lots more, lots more videos coming up. So like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Love y'all.